which row shows the waste products released from the exhaust of vehicle powered using a hydrogen oxygen fuel cell now this question is from chapter number 5 chemical energetics where you studied about hydrogen oxygen fuel cell in this cell hydrogen gas reacts with oxygen to produce water and electricity is produced in this reaction the only chemical product that is produced here is water so there is no carbon dioxide no oxides of nitrogen uh, water is there so right option is d move to next question now which diagram is a correctly labeled reaction pathway diagram for an endothermic reaction it is an endothermic reaction and in an endothermic reaction the energy of products is higher than the energy of reactants because energy is absorbed in this process so this is correct option b is also correct for the energies of reactants and products but here the energy of product is lower so this cannot be correct similarly option d cannot be correct now compare a and b and look for the overall energy change what is overall energy change it is the energy difference between energy of products and energy of reactants so yes it is correctly labeled in option a now come to option b the energy difference between the products and reactants should be the overall energy change but it is labeling it wrong so cross this and this one is correct so right option here is a question number 13 which changes are physical changes remember that whenever there is change of state for example if it is talking about melting freezing condensing evaporating then it would be regarded as physical change so here melting ice to form water it is a physical change boiling water to form steam is a physical change moreover a process in which some new substances are formed is regarded as a chemical change now if you look at statement 2 it is talking about burning hydrogen to form water so basically in this reaction hydrogen is reacting with oxygen and a new substance is being produced so this is a chemical change and not a physical change so cross this adding sodium to water when sodium is added to water it reacts vigorously to produce the sodium hydroxide and hydrogen gas is evolved in this reaction again this is a chemical change so correct response option b one and four the diagram shows an experiment to measure the rate of chemical reaction there is a reaction in which uh, metal is going to react with dilute hydrochloric acid which change decreases the rate of reaction look at option a you are adding water to flask now if you are adding water to hydrochloric acid it will uh, decrease the concentration of hcl it is uh, becoming more and more dilute after adding water so decrease in concentration uh, will decrease the rate and yes this will be the right option so uh, just look at the other options heating the flask heating means you are increasing temperature and increase in temperature increases the rate of reaction so that cannot be right option using more concentrated acid if you increase concentration the rate or speed of reaction will also increase now look at the last option powdered metal if you use powdered metals you are increasing surface area and if surface area is increased again the rate will also increase so that cannot be correct answer uh, the only option that is applicable here is option a which row describes the effect of increasing concentration and increasing temperature on collision between the reacting particles what is the meaning of increasing concentration if you increase concentration it means there will be more particles 
per unit volume and if there are more particles then there will be more collisions now look at the first column a and b are same more collisions per second yes it is correct look at c and d more collisions and more collisions with sufficient energy now concentration has nothing to do with energy of particles so it cannot be correct now we have left with option a and b now come to the second column it is talking about the effect of increasing temperature when you increase temperature kinetic energy of particles is increased now particles are moving faster so there will be more collisions this is one thing and on the other hand these particles now have sufficient energy because on increasing temperature the energy also has been increased so both things will be applicable here in case of temperature there will be more collisions per second because particles are moving faster so there are more chances of colliding with each other and more collisions with sufficient energy so this is option b number 16 methanol is prepared by reversible reaction shown the forward reaction is exothermic which conditions produced the highest equilibrium yield of methanol and uh, the two factors that we have to consider here is temperature and pressure now as this is exothermic reaction for exothermic reaction if you increase temperature the yield is decreased and if temperature is low then there will be more yield of the product now we have to identify the conditions that will produce highest yield so temperature should be low temperature should be low eliminate option a and b okay now come to the pressure if you increase pressure the reaction will move to the side where there are lesser number of moles and if pressure is decreased the reaction moves to the side where there are greater number of moles or you can say where there is larger volume because pressure and volume are inversely related to each other now look at this equation on the side of methanol there is one mole and on reactants side there are two moles of hydrogen one mole of carbon monoxide so there are three moles it means if you have to shift this reaction towards methanol then there should be high pressure yeah because this will shift to the side where there are lesser number of moles so pressure should be high eliminate option d option c is correct when chlorine gas dissolves in water a reaction occurs so there is a reaction which row of table identifies the oxidation number for chlorine in the chlorine containing species there are three species if you look at the first species here chlorine is present in uncombined form or you can say the chlorine is present in free state and we have studied that whenever any element is present in uncombined form the oxidation state of the element is zero so by looking at the first column i can eliminate option a and option c so b and d are left now come to hcl we know that the oxidation state for hydrogen is plus 1 in all of the covalently bonded compounds of hydrogen atoms now the sum of these two should be equal to 0 now here chlorine should be minus 1 as 1 minus 1 it will result in 0 so in both of b and c uh, its oxidation number is minus 1 so you can also directly go to the last species h c l o the oxidation number for hydrogen is plus 1 for oxygen it is minus 2 and we have to find the oxidation number for chlorine the sum should be equal to 0 why should it be equal to 0 because this is a compound it is neutral there is no overall charge so sum of the charges should be equal to 0 so here x should be plus 1 so that 1 plus 1 2 and 2 minus 2 will be 0 now eliminate this option b and you will only be left with option d that is the right answer for this question
नंबर एटीन फोर डिफरेंट सोल्यूशन जे के एल एंड एम आर टेस्टेड विद यूनिवर्सल इंडिकेटर दिस इज अ स्ट्रेट फॉरवर्ड क्वेश्चन एंड टू सॉल्व दिस यू शुड बी फैमिलियर विद द डिफरेंट कलर दैट यूनिवर्सल इंडिकेटर शो एट डिफरेंट पी एच वैल्यूज रिमेंबर दैट वेन द कलर इज ग्रीन इट मीन्स द सोल्यूशन इज न्यूट्रल वेन द कलर इज रेड देन दिस सोल्यूशन इज एसिडिक पर्पल इट इज बेसिक and for orange again it is acid so which solutions are acidic k and m option b is correct these are acidic solutions which solution has lowest uh, ph now ph is related to concentration of hydrogen ions and the lowest ph is possible when the concentration of hydrogen ion is highest because these are inversely related moreover the concentration of hydrogen ion is directly related to strength of acid so it means stronger the acid more will be the concentration of hydrogen ion and lowest will be the ph so now look at option a ammonia solution is basic so eliminate this lithium hydroxide at option d it is also a basic solution cross this there are two acids that will definitely be having lower ph than the basic solutions these two solutions are ethanoic acid and hydrochloric acid out of these two hydrochloric acid is a stronger acid so it will have lower ph than ethanoic acid and resultantly it would have the lowest ph of these four so c is the right option question number 20 is from chapter number 8 periodic table magnesium calcium strontium and barium are group 2 elements group 2 elements follow the same trends in the reactivity as group 1 elements so if you remember that group number 1 elements the reactivity of elements increases down the group the reactivity increases down the group as it is saying that group number 2 elements follow the same trend it means that the same order will be followed here and what elements are present in group number 2 there are beryllium magnesium calcium strontium and barium you can look for these elements in the periodic table now come to the first statement calcium reacts faster than magnesium calcium is coming below magnesium and down the group the activity increases so yes calcium reacts faster than magnesium with water the first statement is correct now come to the second statement barium reacts less vigorously than magnesium with dilute acid now compare magnesium with barium a barium is below magnesium so barium should be reacting more vigorously than magnesium so this statement is not correct third statement says strontium oxidizes in air more slowly than the barium now strontium is coming above barium it should be less reactive than barium same is that the statement 3 is saying yes this is also correct so 1 and 3 uh, you can see which option is uh, here it is c that 1 and 3 only 